What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mitchell Outdoors. Come back. I got a new item for you that's going to help make videos better, I think. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mitchell Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? We're finally getting that winter storm we've been wanting. But one of the things I've been striding on this year is making my videos better. Uh, getting better quality, getting better um, pictures and that kind of thing and setups. I uh, made a deal a little while ago that you'll see down the road and we'll talk about down the road. Um, that um, yeah, it's definitely going to get me there as far as image quality now the, hopefully the content will be better too <laughs> so I did get something a couple days ago I've messed with it a little bit and messed with it a lot but it's going to take the place of what this camera is sitting on now um, I have always dibbled with those with the plain old ordinary tripods and I'm done with that I'm done with the old standby tripods that you know flimsy like I could shake this camera right now and I'm just gonna move the camera itself and the whole thing shakes so anyway let me uh, get repositioned and I'll show you what's over here on the bed all right so before we get started make sure you hit that little subscribe button down there you and give me a little thumbs up that helps the algorithms and stuff and uh, tell your friends about us all that good stuff so you see the box it says newer so I got a newer product, I got a newer tripod. Literally, it's a newer tripod. But this one's uh, a little bit better than what I've got now. Um, better ball head, better everything, legs. This is not a lightweight tripod, this is a heavy tripod. And, well, that's a good thing. I'll show you a couple things it comes with too that I've got to one side here in just a minute but here's the tripod itself the case I like the case it's actually got a little pocket on the inside of the case too one of the things I'm hoping to get with this tripod is overhead shots which will help out down the road but uh, for this pocket probably keep a carabiner in it like that and this little allen wrench in case we need it for tightening things up put this all the way so we can see the tripod now this tripod dubs us two things, is a tripod and is a monopod. Sorry, I had to mute the phone a little bit there. We're getting all those weather warnings and I was also trying to take off the wrong leg. So for your mono, monopod, you unscrew this leg like so and then you unscrew the ball head. like so then you screw the ball head onto your leg and then you have a monopod whoops then you have a monopod um, straighten your head up now what I also like about this to know if you've got everything balanced or aligned right you have two access points or two uh, levels on this thing so it tells you when you you're holding your camera level which when we get out in the woods sometimes can be quite tricky this knob controls your your 360 and spin on it or your panning lock it into place and it won't move now this one I do believe is the one nope not that one see I told you I've only been working with it for a little bit so this is this controls these control your adjustments on the ball head itself and it's unlike some of your other ones that get you know get real loose and move real easily this one doesn't move that easy which is great I don't like it when they move too fast because then they throw in a lot of jitter into your videos and your pictures too um, the other cool thing I like about this one 
is the hot shoe. Now you saw that. So if you don't get the hot shoe all the way on, you don't get it all the way tight and you don't realize it, well, it's not going to fall off because one of the things they have on this is they have these little screws here on the plate and they line up in here so you can see that and that keeps the plate from falling completely off the tripod or monopod whichever configuration but say you think you got it tight and you really don't and you got a heavy camera on that and that slides the least little bit it's going to slide till it meets that plate and then it'll stop all right, let me get it repositioned a little bit and we'll come back and I'll show you some never filmed this far away. The other cool things on this tripod is the legs. They will extend out to right there. So you can basically lay this thing as flat as you want it. And you can also take this. And this is your center section. Press that little button. And you can reinstall it upside down to get your camera lower to the ground taking pictures of things on the ground. Okay, the other cool factor on this tripod, let me mount the head back on so you can see how this works, is we have another option we can do with it. You already can see the head's moving or this is moving right here probably can't see the head because it's way up too high but we can also take unscrew this knob okay so you can also turn this knob here let me tighten it back up a little bit well i didn't and it does this so now it lays at an angle what you can also do with that, if you're probably wondering, is you bring your camera back into you, and now you can do panning like this with this tripod, which I thought was pretty cool. Now, you're probably wondering what's the purpose of the carabiner with this camera or with this tripod. You hang it on here with a weighted bag that way it stabilizes this so that there's no jerkiness but you're holding back here for your panning and that kind of thing and it's more stable what i also like about this is when it's extended fully up if i had a camera on it right now i could actually aim the camera overhead and work below so you get a better angle from the camera itself of what I'm working on and I think it'll just come up with a lot better um, videos for you guys so I can show you what what's going on with what I'm working on um, now we'll say this is not cheap you're looking at $135 I will leave a link down below for it it is a good heavy-duty it's you know nothing to sneeze at it's a good tripod um i think it's gonna we're gonna make some really neat videos with this thing coming in the future for you guys and i can't wait to actually start putting it to work which you will see in the next video but anyways um there's still a lot of stuff i've got to learn about it and i will do a follow-up video about this thing i do like the fact that the legs lock like this see it knows the legs locking so it won't go any further and I pull down somewhere right in there is another locking position so it has several locking positions to lock the legs in you go down again you watch that button come up and there it is it's locked again I also like that these are a screw type leg extensions now the other thing i will show real quick on this i'll tell you what i'm gonna stop a second bring you in closer okay, real quick i want to show you this one last thing is these do come off you can order 
the spikes that go on this in the bottom and that way you've got a spike that you can stick in the ground to kind of help stabilize it in dirt and that kind of stuff but uh, for the most part what I'm going to be using for I like the rubber knobs rubber bumpers on the bottom um, but anyway this is the newer N284C plus go so it's a to-go tripod. I mean, you can take it with you. It's it's heavy, but it's not extremely heavy. I'll put the weight in right here, right now, for you, and uh, you can check it out for yourself. Okay. So I want to thank you for watching this video. This tripod is fixing to go to work. I'm fixing to record another one, and it's going to be kind of a cool video on a new product um, that I picked up that I've been excited about getting in my hands. Um, anyways. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to take a look at this tripod for yourself and pick one up, like I said, I'll leave a link down below uh, on Amazon for it. I think it's going to, we're going to come across some new cool content using this tripod. So I appreciate you watching. Make sure you click that share and that like and the other subscribe button and all the other buttons you can click and be prepared.